So let's take the second example. We are going to solve this system using LU decomposition. So like we did in the first example, the first thing we need to do is to represent the system in the form AX equals B, where A represents the coefficient matrix, X contains the unknown variables X1, X2, and then X3, and then B are the values that we see on the right-hand side of each of the equations. Next, we are going to decompose A so that we have a lower triangular matrix times an upper triangular matrix. So for A equals L times U, we substitute that into this equation so that we have L times U times X equals B. Now, we are going to let U times X be equal to Z. Now, in that case, we are going to substitute Z in place of UX in this equation so that we have L times Z equals B. So that becomes our first equation. And then we have our second equation that is UX equals Z. So first, we solve the first equation for Z. We substitute Z into equation 2 to solve for X. So let's do that. So we have our coefficient matrix having element 6, 18, 3, 2, 12, 1, 4, 15, and then 3. And then we have this times the matrix, that is the column matrix having components x1, x2, x3, the unknown variables, and that's equal to the element on the right hand side of each of the equations, 3, 9 and then 0. The next thing is we need to decompose the coefficient matrix so that we have a lower triangular matrix times an upper triangular matrix. So we are going to have A to be equal to. Now for the lower triangular matrix, we have the elements in the principal diagonal all becoming ones and then elements above the principal diagonal becoming zero. And then we have non-zero elements below the principal diagonal which we call the multiplies so here we have l21 l31 and then l32 and these are the values that make the corresponding elements in the upper triangular matrix equal to zero so these multiplies let's say l21 is equal to negative m21 we have l31 which is equal to negative m31 and then L32 which is equal to negative M32 so we have this to be L times the upper triangular matrix which has elements U11 U12 U13 U22 U23 U33 and the elements below the principal diagonal or equal to zero so this is the upper triangular matrix and this is the same upper triangular matrix which is obtained at the end of the forward elimination steps of naive Gaussian elimination so we want to decompose this coefficient matrix so that we have an L that is a lower triangular matrix times an upper triangular matrix so considering the coefficient matrix of element 6 18 3, 2, 12, 1, 4, 15, 3. We are going to perform forward elimination steps on this coefficient matrix thus to obtain the upper triangular matrix. Now in so doing, we also obtain the multipliers which are the M values and then we convert them to these L values to form the lower triangular matrix. Here we have three rows so we are going to perform two forward elimination steps so in all we want to make these three values go to zero at the end of the forward elimination steps since we are going to perform two forward elimination steps for the first one we focus on making these two values go to zero and then for the second step we make this value go to zero since we are using naive Gaussian elimination we are not going to do any row swap therefore to make these two values go to zero, we perform elementary row operations on row 2 and then row 3. Notice that row 1 is said to be the pivot row 
and then six is said to be the pivot element so we perform elementary row operations on row two and then row three now for row two we have the operation to be we are going to multiply row one by two over six so we have two over six times row one and then we subtract the results from row two first element of row two is two so two minus two over six times six and that becomes zero next we move on to row three also for row three we are going to perform elementary row operations and the operation is going to be we are going to multiply row one by four over six so four over six times row one minus r3 here also we have first element to be four minus four over six times six that also becomes zero so let's do that row one remains unchanged so that is 6 18 3 now for row 2 we have 2 minus 2 over 6 times 6 that becomes 0 second column we have 12 minus 2 over 6 times 18 that becomes 6 third column we have 1 minus 2 over 6 times 3 that also becomes 0 we move on to row 3 for row 3 we have 4 minus 4 over 6 times 6 that is 0 next we have 15 minus 4 over 6 times 18 that becomes 3 and next we have 3 minus 4 over 6 times 3 that also becomes 1 so we succeeded in making these two values go to 0 now let's focus on this value so now we have our pivot rule to be row 2 and then pivot element to be 6 now to make this value go to 0 we perform elementary row operations on row 3 and for the operation we are going to multiply row 2 by 3 over 6 so we have 3 over 6 times row 2 and then we subtract that from row 3 so row 1 and row 2 remains the same we have 6 18 3 0 6 0 now for row 3 0 minus 3 over 6 times 0 becomes 0 3 minus 3 over 6 times 6 also becomes 0 and then lastly we have 1 minus 3 over 6 times 0 also becomes 1 therefore we have this to be the upper triangular matrix which is obtained at the end of the two forward elimination steps so this is the upper triangular matrix and then we can obtain the multipliers that is or which are the m values so we have m21 that is equal to negative 2 over 6 so we have negative 2 over 6 2 goes here once 2 goes here 3 times therefore we have negative 1 over 3 negative 1 over 3 and then for m31 that is also equal to negative 4 over 6 2 goes here 2 times 2 goes here 3 times so we have negative 2 over 3 for m31 and then for m32 we are also going to have negative 3 over 6 3 goes here once 3 goes here 2 times so that becomes negative 1 over 2 so this is m32 therefore we have we have the l values l21 to be the negative of this value so that becomes 1 over 3 we have l31 also to be negative of this 2 over 3 we have l32 also to be negative of this that becomes 1 over 2 so basically these are the l values therefore we have the coefficient matrix A. We have the coefficient matrix A being decomposed into L times U. So we have A to be 6, 18, 3, 2, 12, 1, 4, 15, 4, 15, 3. That is decomposed into so we have 
the so this is a okay this is a this is l so for the l we have elements of the principal diagonal to be all ones elements above the principal diagonal to be zero and then we have L21 1 over 3, L31 2 over 3, L32 1 over 2. So 1 over 3, 2 over 3, 1 over 2. So 1 over 3, 2 over 3, 1 over 2. Times the upper triangular matrix, which we obtained 6, 18, 3. So 6, 18. 3 and then we have 0 6 0 and then 0 0 1 this is the upper triangular matrix so we decompose a into this then after this we are going to solve for the two equations so first of all we solve for equation 1 therefore we have for equation 1 lz equals b that is equation 1 we have the lower triangular matrix that is this to be 1 0 0 1 over 3 1 0 2 over 3 1 over 2 1 times we have z1 z2 z3 equal to b 3 9 0 so let's do forward substitution to find the values of z1 z2 and then z3 so z1 corresponds to column 1 z2 column 2 z3 column 3 so we have 1 times z1 so z1 that is equal to so here we have z1 plus 0 times z2 0 times plus 0 times z3 therefore that becomes 0 so we have z1 equals 3 so this is the first z value we have z1 equals 3 we move on to row 2 that is where we have 1 over 3 times z1 which is 3 plus 1 times z2 that is z2 plus 0 times z3 that is also 0 and that is equal to 9 so here 3 goes here once 3 goes here once so we have 1 plus z2 equals 9 you transpose this to the right hand side we have z2 equals 9 minus 1 which is equal to 8 therefore we have z2 to be 8 now we move on to row 3 we have 2 over 3 times z1 so z1 is 3 plus 1 over 2 times z2 which is 8 plus 1 times z3 which is z3 that is equal to 0 here 3 goes here once 3 goes here once so we are left with 2 plus 2 goes here once, 2 goes here 4 times, so 2 plus 4 plus z3 equals 0. This is 6 plus z3 equals 0. We have z3 to be equal to negative 6. This is the value of z3. Now, after obtaining the z values, we substitute them into equation 2 so that we find the x values. So that's for equation 2, we have ux equals z. So let's try to solve for x. So we are going to have the upper triangular matrix 6, 18, 3, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 1 times x1 x2 x3 equals we have z1 to be 3 z2 8 z3 negative 6 here we are going to do back substitution so we have 1 times x3 so x3 equals negative 6 we move on to row 2 we are going to have 0 times x1 plus 6 times x2 so 6x2 0 times x3 that is 0 so 6x2 equals 8 we divide through by 6 
by 6 and then we have x2 to be equal to 4 over 3 this is the value of x2 now let's move on to x3 so for row 1 we are going to have 6 x1 plus 18 times x2 which is 4 over 3 plus 3 times x3 which is negative 6 equals 3 3 goes here once 3 goes here 6 times we have 6 x1 plus 24 minus 18 equals 3 6 x1 plus 24 minus 18 that becomes 6 equals 3 6 x1 equals 3 minus 6 and that is equal to negative 3 so here we basically divide through by 6 by 6 we have x1 to be equal to negative 1 over 2 so this is the value of x1 therefore we have the solution vector x having components x1 x2 x3 to be equal to negative 1 over 2 4 over 3 and then negative 6 